So, I'm trying to imagine Sho as a butler. Hi everybody! So, there's a lot of news this week that pertains to Arashi being on TV. So you will be probably seeing them in different various specials and, and dramas um, in the very near future. So let's get right to it. First of all, I did mention last week, or maybe it was the week before, that there were some rumors going around about Sho being in a drama. It would basically be him playing a butler. And according to a lot of people that I know and a lot of friends, that rumor is true. However, I have yet to see an actual official article or news thing about that drama, so I'm kind of confused. This usually doesn't really happen. If I hear it from my friends, then I usually see some information about it on the news sites, but uh, I haven't found anything. Let's just say for now that it's not a rumor, so that's kind of awesome. I'm also a little like I'm not really sure what to think about Show being a butler, but I'm sure a lot of you Show fans are pretty excited about that one. Last week I also talked about Nino being in a Frita Ieokao special as well. There is a little bit more information about that this week. Basically, there is no date set yet, but they're saying it will be aired in the fall, so probably in the next couple of months. And the story is going to be taking place a year after the end of the drama, and it's going to be focusing on Seiji, Nino's character, and Minami, his lo lo the love interest, and their relationship and their relationship is supposed to be kind of getting a little strained because of work. So that's what it's going to be about and I'm, I'm kind of excited. I was hoping that there would be some closure in, in um, the drama from last year. I'm hoping that it will deliver but we will see. Either way, I'm just really excited to see Nino in a special again because it's been quite a while. And in other special news, it was reported that there is going to be another Kaibutsukun special and it is going to be aired before the movie comes out. So it's going to kind of gear you up towards the movie so that when you see it, you'll be super excited about it. There's no date so far, but they did say it will be before the movie comes out, so before November 26th at some point. The special is going to be called Mo Kaite Kita Yo Kaibutsukun Subete Shinsaku Eski, which kind of roughly translates to uh, We're Back, Kaibutsukun's all new special. Along with the entire original cast being in the special, there will also be Becky as Kaibutsukun's fiance. She was in the first special, so she's just coming back again for the second special. I don't know if she's going to be in the movie. They haven't really announced that, I don't think. But other than that, um, she definitely will be in this special. This week's top question is from username scubajr62 who asked, I was wondering how much your Arashi stuff cost and what were the more expensive items? Well, um, I don't know how much all of my Arashi stuff cost because it's kind of too much to count, which I don't know if that's sad or not, but um, most of the stuff, I usually try not to buy overly priced things like you know, things that you can't find anymore and people are saying, oh, well, it's a collector's item, so I will sell it for like $100 or whatever. I really usually don't don't try to do that. And even then, if I try to buy something that's really hard to find, I try to find a good deal on it, somebody who's willing to, to part with it for a reasonable price. I really, you know, try not to splurge on crazy stuff like $15 pens or whatever like that because I know that you know some people have done that. Also a lot of the stuff that I bought have been direct from Japan or in Japan. Like a lot of the magazines are about 560 yen, 600 yen, somewhere around there and I probably have about I don't know maybe 50 or 60 um, magazines. A lot of my CDs were also bought in Japan and actually a lot of the older ones, anything that was before 2009, I bought used. Those were all either the same price 
as uh, what they were originally, or less, a little bit less. With the exception of the Arashi debut single, I know that that's really hard to find and also hard to find for a reasonable cost. I have the regular edition, I was looking for the limited edition, but um, you know, what I could find at the time was uh, the regular edition and I'm fine with that. What I'm just planning on doing is, you know, if I can get my hands on the whole collection, I'll be really happy. And then once that happens, then I'll work on trying to get all limited editions and then sell off my, my regular edition. So my Arashi original single was about $30 US is what I paid for this. And this originally was only 1,020 yen, which would be approximately about 11 or 12 dollars um, if the exchange rate didn't suck so bad. Surprisingly, I think my most expensive items have been the concert DVDs because DVDs are just so expensive in Japan. So those ones have ranged, you know, anywhere between 50 dollars to 90 dollars, anywhere in that range, which. Um, that's probably, like I said, the most expensive items that I have when I bought them originally. But the Arashi original single, I would have to say is the most expensive from the original price item that I have purchased. Because, you know, I have a lot of posters and, you know, like concert goods and stuff, but for the most part, I really um, only buy them when I can actually get my own hands on them. So that's it for this week and I will see you guys later. Hi, bye bye bye.